feel about that hitting the wall phrase? I think it's an accurate depiction of a natural phenomenon. Um, I think that women do reach a certain point in their life where their value, when I say value, I mean value in the eyes of men specifically, does decrease when they reach a certain age. In terms of fertility, obviously yep. you're older, you're not as attractive, but yep. also like you've had more life money. experience and I think the majority of men want a woman that hasn't had a lot of life experience because they want to build that life with you. They become bitter. Emotional, damn it! The term that I keep hearing bandied about on here is hitting the wall. Several okay. men have said that I have hit the wall. I'm not going to let that get me down because upon further research, the term refers to any woman over age 29 because by that age she has allegedly lost all of her sexual desirability and therefore hit the wall. Men, do some of you really believe this to be true? Let me know. Yeah, baby girl, because uh, for one, um, I don't know if you heard this around the block a lot of times, but the thing is, men prefer fertility and youth. One of the biggest reasons why is because we want to procreate and have children. After after 29, you ent you start to enter into a stage called geriatric pregnancy. Now, it really hits you when you turn 35, but we all know that your womb and your organs age like old milk. They don't age, they don't all of a sudden you hit an age and all of a sudden you become unfertile, no. It depends on the amount of stress your body goes through, how old you are, age is a big thing, and um, if you're really taking care of your body nonetheless. Now some, some women can end up, you know, beating the odds and having kids in their later years, like in their 40s, maybe even, hell, even sometimes even in their 50s. But that is a very, very rare phenomenon. Even in your 30s is a very, 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 very rare phenomenon. The likelihood it is, is that you having children after the age of 35 is damn near, it, it's a wrap after 35. But 29 to 35, all hands on deck, DEFCON 1. You better find a man immediately, marry him, have his children. Because your womb is going bad. You are, the sands of time have poured against you, young Padawan. So, yeah. Men prefer, well, what, what, what men really want is a very um, cooperative, submissive woman, first and foremost. But she also has to be youthful and beautiful. And uh, also her fertility has to be intact, meaning her ability to create and procreate with children. That shit ain't intact, then we ain't, we ain't got nothing for you. Ain't nothing for you. Ain't nothing for you at all. Older men to younger men. Most of us prefer younger men in general. We prefer younger women for that reason. We want to, you know, have children. And if you're above 29 to 35, you are not a fertile woman. You are not a youthful woman. That means you're not too fertile. Meaning that you're going to have complications, especially when you don't have children at all. Having children. Because some people, when they have children... I don't know what it is, but sometimes you can have children, you know what I'm saying? And then the second one ain't too bad because you, you got experience, but your first one's gonna be and you're older, is you have a lot of complications. A lot. A lot, a lot. And the man does not want to deal with that. You might even be bedridden. You might get sick a lot. You might get cravings a lot. You might your ass might get too who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's just like I mean, you hear this stuff. The thing is, women really don't mention a lot what they go through with pregnancy. Why? Because a lot of women have their children young. So they can take it. They can take that, you know, that take that weight, literally. But, um, yeah, a lot of women nowadays are getting older and they think they can have kids like, well in their 30s. When in reality, that's not the case, for one. And for two, men don't even prefer women in their 30s for that reason. Too many complications. Health, health, health wise. So you might as well look at men as doing you a favor because we're actually looking out for your health.
for one. Two, we don't even want you to begin with because it's, we, like I said, we want youthfulness. Either way. What do you feel about that hitting the wall phrase? I think it's an accurate depiction of a natural phenomenon. Um, I think that women do reach a certain point in their life where their value, when I say value, I mean value in the eyes of men specifically, does decrease when they reach a certain age. In terms of fertility, obviously yep. you're older, you're not as attractive, but yep. also like you've had more life money. experience and I think the majority of men want a woman that hasn't had a lot of life experience because they want to build that life with you. They become bitter. Emotional, damn it. At men. They've been ran through, you know, well, modern women mostly. I mean, most modern women have had multiple, you know, experiences with men. Uh, relatively not good ones because if they did, they would have gotten married and settled down. But they have a very negative out, a very negative um, viewpoint when it comes to men. They uh, have had a lot of experience. With experience comes wear and tear and uh, battle scars, war wounds, all that. And um, it leaves a very sour taste in your mouth about... Um, your um your counterparts because of that uh men can see that you know when they hear a woman is over 35 years old then they hear okay um for one she's not fertile so i can't really have children that's out of that's out of the question she's not really she's average at best because you know back in the day she was hot as hell but now she's just average because you know age wear and tear not only that she's had a lot of experience with a lot of guys you know the body count is up there. You know what I'm saying. You know they. You know <laughs> she, she she done she done she done roll. She she's a, she was a town bike when she was in she when she was when she was younger. You know what I mean. It's just like damn. What can I do with this man? It's like what can you do with this? It's like really. What can I do with that? What can I do with that? What is she gonna offer me? Cause you know. What, what is she bringing to the table? And everybody, every man knows this now. Women get triggered when they, they ask you, what do you bring to the table? Because then it becomes a question, because they get, they, they're, they're really offended by it because, for one, they really don't bring a lot to the table. They think that the table, they, that, that they think that they're made out of wood and, you know, copper and lead. They think they are the table. Sucks, man. Really does. Anyway. Got a single 46-year-old woman. She's found herself in an unhappy situation. She's got a lot to say. I want a relationship. You know, that's what I want. I had all the adventures. I have all the stories to tell. Yeah. I just want somebody that I can count right? on. All I just heard is that she had all the partying. She was out there finding herself for a really long time. She's 46. How appetizing to a man to know that you got all the nasty out of your system. And now here he is. You want someone reliable and dependable now that you did all that. And he gets to have that consistent image of you doing all the nasty with everybody before because you just told him. How desirable. Why is the brain dead so thick? I'll tell you why. Because all of these women absorb all of this modern feminism for so long. And women lie to them. They tell them that guys are somehow going to receive that information well. And that guy is just like, bye. See you later. You had all the stories. I don't want to know. I don't want to have to go to the bad move. clinic either on my way out of here. Bad move, big fella. That was a bad move. Bad move on her part. Listen. Um, yeah, feminism completely lied to all women saying that uh they could have it all, you know, they could ride the, they could ride the uh the carousel and come out on top, you know what I'm saying? And some simp is gonna come along and wipe them up, man. Any every man knows that that's a bad deal. You know, when you when when you've when you've been ran through, you've had all this experience, aka wear and tear, aka you know being a town bike or whatever, and uh, it's just like you have a negative outlook when it comes to your counterparts and men, so therefore you're negative when it comes to them. You're bitter, and now you want a man to come and soup you up and clean all that up. What is he? He doesn't even get his own children or anything like that in return. You know, you're well into your thirties, forties, whatever. And you don't even get, you don't get nothing for your, you don't get a, uh, a return on your investment as a man. Nothing. Nothing. It's a bad deal. It's a bad deal. Especially if you have kids, which a lot of, you know, women nowadays tend to really have children nowadays. Well before they're, you know, sometimes even before they hit the wall. Maybe daddy make about 35000 a year. 
but you want a man making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Why would a man who makes a hundred thousand dollars a year in the top one percent of men, damn near upper middle class, single, childless, well in his thirty fives, women are flocking at him. Not only you, but all kinds of women. One's fine, one's fertile. In their 20s, looking hella clean, looking hella clean. The pH balance is all good. Why would he take you with a child out of wedlock by a man who makes less than he does? You are no asset, no value when it comes to what you could, what you could bring to the table in terms of how you could do for him. What does he get in return for raising your little bastard? Does he get a fertile woman? No. Does he get a youthful woman? No. Does he get a woman who's had no experience and is and is completely pure and virgin and untouched? No. Okay. Um, he may get he he may he may not he may get cooperation he may not but due to your circumstance you probably feel some type of way about men so he probably doesn't even get that okay does he get cooperation will he get submission maybe not because if you couldn't submit if you couldn't submit to the first man what makes you think he, you're going to commit to the second man come on now does he get a uh, femininity well, maybe. I mean, some girls do have femininity who are, you know, single mothers, but still, I mean, on the grand scheme of things, compared to his resume to yours, he brings way more protection, provision, discipline, order, leadership, structure, a complete umbrella of his bloodline and his security in terms of his finances. He don't even get a woman who is fertile youthful childless come on man men are very territorial creatures for one we don't like to know that our wife has been ran through by every man in the game ask me a khalifa how that how's that going for her? it's just the way it is human nature ten thousand for as long as when in g and when before jesus was walked on this earth We've been this way. This is the way God designed us. You got a problem with that? Take it up with your creator. Take it up with God if you have a problem with how a man operate. This is the way we are. You want a woman who's very youthful, is, fer is fertile, fit, feminine, cooperative, submissive, and damn sure childless. That's what we want, ladies. It ain't rocket science. You just got to follow the directions. But y'all don't want to follow the direction because you still... Feminism, pretty much lie to y'all. Say so y'all can have it all. You could get ran through and still get Prince Charming on the other side. You know what I'm saying? You got five kids by five different men. You still have them on the other side. But then when you get to the other side, all you see is a barren wasteland. Desert. <laughs> the grass ain't green on the other side because ain't no grass. It's a desert. Dry as shit. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think about these videos, man. Post off. Sign off in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. I will see y'all. I'm out. Peace.